guys, it's me, Miss Mademoiselle, and today I have a very special guest with me, Miss Funshine! Hi everybody, I'm Miss Funshine, and so today me and Miss Mademoiselle will be showing you how to make three cool crafts, also known as the, the ultimate, ultimate craft session. session. First, we're going to be doing the blooming flowers. But before we get started, we want to make sure all of you click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. So now, let's get, get started. started. Alright everyone, so for the blooming paper flower craft, you're going to be needing a piece of paper, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a bowl filled with a little bit of water. So let's get started. Okay, so your first step would be to take your pencil and you're just going to sketch a small flower on your piece of paper. Alright, so your flowers should look something like these and now you can go ahead and cut them out. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take your flower and fold the petals inwards so that they're kind of overlapping each other, like this, and you should kind of get like a circle shape. A rough circle. Rough circle, like hexagon kind of. So what you're going to do now is you take your flower and you're going to drop it in the water. Make sure that the folded petals are facing up. Now they should start to bloom! Alright everyone, so the blooming flower craft was a success, so it's time to move on to craft number two! So craft number two is going to be DIY mini notebooks, where all you have to do is folding and cutting. No glue needed. Let's Yay! get started! Alright, so all you're going to need for this notebook craft is a piece of paper and some scissors. Okay, so the first step of this craft is going to be to take your sheet of paper and fold it lengthwise. So you're going to take it and fold it lengthwise again so you get a really skinny strip. Then you're going to unfold your piece of paper and fold it so that it's like a hamburger. Then you're going to fold it up again like this. You should end up with 16 squares. See, you should end up with 16 squares. Okay, so now what you're going to do is fold it in half lengthwise again but you're not going to fold it to make a strip. So you see these lines on the fold, not the opening, the fold. You're going to cut them halfway. All right, so the next step is to unfold your piece of paper and look at these two tabs, and you're going to cut them so that there are just four flaps. So you're going to take your flaps, and you're going to fold them outwards so you get kind of like a frame. It should look something like this. So then you're going to turn it over, and you're going to take the top and fold it in, and the bottom and also fold it in. Then you're going to fold it in together like this. Now you're going to push these two ends together. And, and if you have trouble pushing them together, don't worry. It always works. Then fold it together. And it should turn into a cute mini notebook without any glue needed.
everyone. So, craft number two was a success. So we're going to move on to craft number three. Hi guys! So craft number three is going to be DIY stickers. Super easy and super, super quick. fun. Let's get, get started. started. So this is how we printed our sticker page. This one is Miss Fun is Miss Funshine's, and this one is Miss Mademoiselle's. So along with your sticker page, you're also going to be needing some clear tape, some scissors, and another piece of paper or a half piece. So the first step is going to be to cut out all your images. Okay, so now we've cut out our um, stickers. So after you've cut them out, you're going to go ahead and take your clear tape. And you're going to rip off a long piece. So with the piece, you're just going to lay it down on your piece of paper. And you're going to stick it on. Continue so that your whole paper is wrapped. Okay, so for the next step, you're going to be taking your images and using some clear tape. Then, what you're going to do is take a piece of tape and cover your image with it, like this. So now what you do is you're going to cut around the edges to make the tape even out. And it'll end up looking a lot nicer. So now you're going to drop your images with the tape into a bowl or cup of cold water. Then you're going to let it sit for some time. Now rub off the back paper of your stickers. everybody that's it for today's craft session so thank you for watching and special thanks to miss funshine. funshine so really uh, we hope you su subscribe to this video and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos also thank you for watching this video we really hope you love all our amazing crafts make sure to try them out bye okay. bye